Just wanted to share a little bit of thoughts and insights on downwinding and um, what to look for, how to approach it, how to read and recognize some bumps and, you know, hopefully how to improve your whole approach overall so you can start uh, linking some bumps in together and, you know, doing some sick runs down the coast. The first thing I'll say is always look forward. A lot of times people think, you know, just from their surfing background that you're going to be approaching it like a wave. And what do we do when we're surfing? We constantly look back, we see the wave approaching and we try and catch it. However, in downwinding, it's the total opposite where you're always looking forward and you're kind of seeing the bumps form right in front of you. Uh, What you want to be doing is basically chasing the back of waves. If you can kind of see that here. What's happening is if you're chasing the backs of the bumps, you're basically on the top of the next swell and you're going to be entering the trough. Um, I will advise try and stay as high as you can because once you actually start dropping into the bottom and you start running up the next swell unless you don't have a game plan of you know peeling off at an aggressive angle or going up and over a lot of times you'll burn all your speed lose your lift another quick little one if you're high on the bump and you do want to pump up and over um, I suggest pumping at the very top of the wave so you can really maximize your speed and lift to really accelerate you up and over the next one. Otherwise, just stand there, lock your legs, rest, breathe, uh, be as as efficient as possible. You don't need to pump when you don't need to pump. You know, that's kind of the name of the game is going as fast as you can while using the least amount of energy possible. Another approach I use is a real aggressive at angles. You know, when we're surfing or foiling, go straight and eventually, you know, all of our speed and energy dies out. The wave catches up with us and we go down. When you're surfing and foiling, when you start going down the line, you start accelerating and, you know, basically maximizing your speed and lift. It's okay to be directional, but it's actually best when you see guys like Foil Wizard or Jack or any of the guys who rip downwind. What they're actually doing is um, like big swooping carves and turns. And that's what's unique about foiling is when you do turns like that, you're actually creating lift and creating speed. You wanna have those directional approaches, aggressive angles, as you see here. Um, that's gonna give you the most speed and lift. And you're basically being really patient, quarter out to see or quarter in towards land. And once you see your opening, then you go and hop on it. And lastly, uh, ground swells. This is this is variable to wherever you're doing your run, but this is this is on the south shore where the wind goes parallel to the coast and the ground swell runs in perpendicular to shore. So what I suggest to people is I think you know people want to ride ground swell, they end up going straight perpendicular to shore. I suggest that you just lock in, you turn, turn onto the ground swell, and you lock in and you get that drop in speed and energy, and then you use that to peel off. And you can use that, be patient, you know, uh, recover, rest, breathe, and you'll be floating from all of that speed, and you're gonna take you into the next trough. Whereas if you were to follow it in towards shore, you basically, essentially waiting for the energy to die out whereas you could be harnessing all of it and using it to get you to the next bump. I like to stay close to the surf but I don't like to be really in the surf Um, that way you're not really like wave hopping you're actually downwinding but you can definitely utilize those unique areas where you can go through the surf lineup near cliffs or near lighthouse and get some of the best bumps of your run right there and rest and recover for other sections where you know that you're gonna need to work. And so there's like this crazy big variable run where you have little game plans the whole way, but it's so variable the whole time you're figuring it out as you're going along. And that's what's crazy and beautiful about it. It's, it's playing chess with the ocean. Awesome.